for the Jaguars, and he'll wait for some teammates. Just great defense right there by Billy on the post. And there's Alex Young, 33% behind the arc. To take on Western Illinois on Saturday. Nice pass inside. Nice pass. There's Pettiford finding his classmate, Robert Glenn. Percent from the floor. Good defense, falling out of bounds. Forced to save it is Chad White. He just checked into the game. More substitution set to come in as IUPUI in transition has Leroy Noble score on the left side. Teen six and a half to play. First half, there's your back door, Pettiford to Glenn. What a great call by Coach Hunter right there. Ashworth, he is shooting better than 50% behind the arc. You score a thousand points in your career, you've done something, you've, you've shown consistency at your position. What a nice look, Ashworth to Alex Young. Terrific job running the point all season long. Open shooter in the corner is Alex Young, and he'll start the scoring for the Jags the way that he starts the first half. Nobles, Ashworth, back to Nobles. Great two-man game right there. They were able to make the steal to finish out his career and, and get those six rings. On the other end, a blocking foul and crashing hard to the court was Leroy Nobles. Well, just a strong drive right there by Nobles, going to the basket hard, taking it to his left, and making a finish. Good job there. They had numbers. Gets the dunk for Avery. Just a great job. Kind of a, almost a secondary break right there. Ball knocked away by Glenn. Here's Esposito. Nobles back to Esposito. How about that pass down low? Well, I tell you what, just an excellent job. Again, a double-double. Steal, Pettiford, his sixth. Nobles back to Pettiford. How about that two-man game? And we'll tell you about IUPUI. They get balanced scoring. Head coach Ron Hunter joins us now here courtside along with Scott McCauley and Jared Lux. I'm getting ready to talk about hey, it, hey, Coach. Scott, before you do anything, I, the worst offender that ever put on a uniform on IUPUI is sitting right next here. To, how in the world did this guy? Yeah, the worst offender. I hope you weren't talking about defense. That's all he was talking about tonight. Oh. Talking about <laughs> talking about how many times your team, how many how many passes yeah. did your guys get? Just a fingertip or a hand on everything yeah. appeared to be tipped tonight. Well, we, we've talked all summer about we wanted to be a great deflection team. That we want to be a little bit more active in our press, a little bit more active in our in, in, in our matchup. We're playing a little bit differently this year. So uh, I thought defensively we were really good tonight. You know, this is a team that shoots so probably the best shooting team in our league, and we did a nice job on them tonight. Well, we talked about that, Coach. Their best player, Garrett Callahan, goes one for eight. Yeah. Hits one wide open three is the only time that an IUPUI player did not have their hand in everybody's face the entire night. It was a dominant defensive performance. And I just want to read you this one stat line for Billy Pettiford. Six points, or I'm sorry, six rebounds, five points, five assists, six steals. Yeah. He seemed like he was all over the court the whole night. Um, talk about his play tonight. That's that's the old Billy Pettiford. Last year we didn't get that from him. Last year we get it from any of those guys. I thought he and Ashworth were really, really good tonight. You know, they understand the game. They understand how to play it. They've been in the system now. They're hungry to win. You know, I told our guys before, you know, we only had one guy on the preseason thing. No one talked about us. And I said, at the end of the year, is that's what we're going to worry about, all that stuff. Call Gallahan is a very, very good player. But we got some good guys here, too, that no one talks about, and they just keep playing well. Billy Pettifer is, you know, he, between he and Ashworth, they really stirred his mick for us, and they do a great job. Great start tonight for Robert Glenn, 7 of 10 in the yeah. first half. And Jared Luck said he's never had a performance like that. But how many times <laughs> did you remind – Robert, that he was 0 for 9 against Kansas State in the days leading up to today's game. Even 10 minutes ago, I just talked to him <laughs> about that in the locker room. So, uh, as happy as he was, he's, he's got to play consistently better all the time. Uh, when he, you know, he's, he's one of the best athletes in our, in our conference, and he has to play that way, and he can't play lazy. And I thought the other night, you know, again, you know, his family's there, he didn't play physical. They were more physical than he was, and he's got to, he, he's got to be more physical in games. Well, Coach, the first thing that we talked about at the end of the game was from the opening tap, to the last ticks of the yeah. clock, you guys played such consistent, solid basketball. On the offensive end, when you didn't have a fast break, Ashworth brought it out. You guys set up an offense and just dissected their defense. They didn't have any um, opportunity to stop you. And on the defensive end, you guys were so active. How do you get that type of consistency for 40 minutes? It was, I mean, you don't like to ever call it that. We can do it from here, but yeah. nearly a perfect game on each end. Well, one of the things that we've worked on, Jared, in the last four or five days, and, you, and you've been a part of our program and you understand this, is that we've been getting off to bad starts. We've had a good record, but if you look at the Auburn game, if you look at Kansas State, 
So I'm going to give you the two games that we lost. We felt like we got off to bad starts. We came in here and played at IU East the other day, got off to a bad start against Austin P. Same thing. So our deal was that we've been working from the beginning of the game. In practice, we just toss it up and play. So we're trying to get off to better starts and be a better team that way. And when we do that, it sets the tone for the guys coming off the bench. So this is a good start for us tonight. We kind of held serve. We got to do it again on Saturday uh, and uh, before we uh, go back to non-conference play. I'll talk to him in the next day or two about his defense. <laughs> I'll have him clean it up. North Dakota State's the opponent on Saturday. Yeah. Congratulations, and we'll see you then, Coach. Okay, take care, guys. Thanks, Ron coach. Hunter, he's the winner, and IUPUI comes away with the W.